all right good morning everybody I hope everybody had a good weekend I did took a little break but now we're gonna hit this and hit it hard we're gonna get this top done so as you can see it is all masked off I'm gonna do some sanding we're gonna work on getting that decal off getting this all prepped ready for primer so this is what I've done masked it all off as you can see front the same way I got another decal to take off I actually have a patch to take care of before I do spray the uh, coating that I'm gonna special coating that I'm gonna put on the top for sealing up the uh, seams so anyways I just wanted to show you how I masked that off and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started Sorry, this side here there you go so you see everything taken care of covered up alrighty and with that I'll talk to you guys later I'll show you my progress see how it goes all right with that see ya okay progress report I've got about a half of it uh, sanded down cleaned up I got the other half to do still so I don't know if I'm gonna do any painting today or not because the wind is already kicking up as you can see on the plastic but you can see pretty much halfway up and I'll show you the top right now okay there's the top now it's halfway again so I've got the other half to do and again the small portion in the front but uh, it's taken a long time it needs to be cleaned up needs to be scuffed up so that that self-etching primer can get in there and then once the primers on there I'm not worried about the paint sticking it'll stay so all right just wanted to show you what's coming along how it's coming along and what I'm using I'm actually not using sandpaper I'm using actually uh, scotch bright pads those green pads I'm soaking them in water and using them because I can't get the sides dirty because they're freshly painted I did mask I did you can see that I've marked them off with plastic and tape and that's going to help with the painting as well but it just helps keep the water down too I mean it's just water but it keeps the mess down this is a lot easier to clean up so I just wanted to show you there okay talk to you guys later I'll show you some more progress a little later bye okay it's in the shade so it's going to be a little hard to see but what you see there in the dark is actually primered already and that was one can of primer that did that so it's kind of hard there we go there we go I think a little more color there but you can see that it goes all the way down there so that was one can of primer I have seven left so I hopefully have enough to do the entire top and front top and front so anyways I'll show you just wanted to give you a quick look see of what I've got done cleaning's done sanding or polishing or cleaning uh, just like I said I hit it with the scotch bright and water and it worked out really good so I'm gonna go with that I've done this before with aluminum on an Airstream same etching uh, paint uh, primer paint from rust-oleum and then uh, but I actually rolled on the white paint I'm not using I'm gonna use spray cans or rattle cans whatever you want to call them so I'll show you tomorrow how that goes because it won't it won't be until tomorrow when I get the paint on the actual color so with that I'll talk to you guys later show you guys a little bit later when I finish up bye okay what did I get done well I got the primer going I got about uh, two-thirds of it done I'll show you the top here in just a little bit but the primer is done here on the back side and part of the front and this whole edge back here up to this point right there I did get the uh, sticker off so you can see that the sticker is gone and it'll get that off Got it all cleaned up, uh, sanded down, or I should say with Scotch-Brite, 
uh, all done. It's nice and smooth, nice and clean. So I'm going to climb up the ladder and show you what I did up on top. All right, here you go. Okay, so the roof is done up to that part right there. So I have all of this, which is just a small section up in here on this side and there, and then the small section in the front. So I got about two thirds of it done. I got maybe two cans worth of spraying left to do here. Maybe a little more than two cans. And then the patch. I don't know if you guys saw, but I had a big rip here. I guess a tree or tree branch had hit it and ripped the aluminum. It was jagged, it was open. Yes, there was water damage underneath there that was taken care of, but that hole had to be fixed. So I patched it up. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'll primer it and then when I do the roof with that rubber coating on the roof, that will seal it up completely. Tomorrow I'll put the vent in. That goes right there, as you can see. And then we'll get it painted. Hopefully get this roof done tomorrow. All right, with that, talk to you guys later. Bye.